going to start with that Fox 6 exclusive body camera video of a struggle and arrest from July. A West Dallas police officer so severely injured he still has not returned to work. The suspect is accused of kicking an officer in the groin, causing him to fall and injure his back. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez was in court for the suspect's initial appearance. Angelica? Ted and Mary, this is a case we've been following since charges were filed in September. The suspect in this case is accused of driving under the influence with his young son in the vehicle, as well as causing great bodily harm to a police officer. We now have video of how this all unfolded. It was not only a struggle to get 36 year old Elvis Garcia into a squad car. It was also painful. Say Wisconsin versus Elvis Garcia. On Thursday, Garcia made his initial appearance, charged with his fourth OWI, operating with a minor inside the vehicle, causing great bodily harm to a police officer, threatening law enforcement, and operating a motor vehicle while revoked. I fight you all. Prosecutors say in July, Garcia was highly agitated while under the influence. During his arrest, he's accused of kicking outward in a donkey style kick. Don't kick me! I did not kick! Garcia's leg hit West Dallas police officer Ryan Kendall in the groin. The kick knocked the wind out of Officer Kendall, yet the officer continued to hold on to Garcia's legs until restraints were placed. You right? Officer Kendall reported when he fell to the ground, he felt a pop in his lower back. The officer was rushed to the hospital where he underwent surgery for his injuries. Officer Kendall was there during Garcia's initial appearance, surrounded by some of his colleagues. Garcia is also accused of calling officers vulgar and derogatory names, making threats like, I swear to God, I will beat the life out of both of you. Don't in court, prosecutors asked for Garcia's bond to increase to $5,000. The defense argued Garcia's made every court appointment since the incident, and an increase in bond wasn't needed. But the court commissioner sided with prosecutors, arguing Garcia's decision-making can't be trusted. Now, Garcia was taken into custody. We do know that Officer Kendall did not wish to make a comment on today's case, but he remains on medical leave at this time. Garcia does face nearly 30 years behind bars if convicted of these crimes. Live outside the courthouse, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. All right, Angelica, thank you.